today we're going to be giving you a closer look at this inflatable camping pad um, from Hollywood. So this one is great for backpacking because it's really light in weight. It's 16 ounces. Um, the pad is really, really easy to inflate and also to get the air out and get it completely fat and flat and able to be rolled back up also. So it's great and convenient for backpacking. It also comes in this handy bag that you can see here and it has a built-in pillow. This is 17 inches in length, 30 inches in width, and Jeff is going to be giving you a closer look at this thing. All right, so as you can see, it's really small. There's my arm to it. Um, this is definitely for backpacking or for any type of camping, but, but really nice for backpacking. Uh, the case is a rubbery case, so it's definitely waterproof. The uh, uh, actual uh, uh, bed is a nylon material, so even if it got wet, I don't think it's going to uh, absorb anything anyway. But it's nice to have a waterproof case. And as you can see, this right here, all you do is fold over once or twice and then you and then you just clip it there and then you're good to go the bag's closed you do have a, a clip here that you can clip to your backpack or whatever you want to do so let's get this thing out and show you how easy it is it's really nice really small really compact and really easy to blow up so let's pull him out Oops. and you can either keep this velcro or not it's easy sometimes to keep it nice. So all you're gonna do is get this out. It seems like it's really, really long, but it shortens up when you blow it up. Significantly. Yep. So as you can see, he's really flat to begin with. And it will turn him over. So the green side or whatever color you get uh, will be done with the bottom. So the cool thing about this is you've got Pretty much three ways you can blow this up. We'll show you here. You've got at the top, you have this right here. Let me bring this a little closer. This valve can be opened up to two different things. So if you got a pump that you can shove in there, there's a big hole that you can blow on into. Mm -hmm. So if you got a little hand pump or something like that, you can use that um, or you can close this up and open the very top. And that would be your standard blowing uh, with your mouth hole right there. Or you can plug that up, bring this long ways. And you got a valve all the way down at the very bottom that sticks out here. That's pretty cool. It's a uh, one-way or a two-way valve. Um, it's got a little thing inside that you push up and down. So if this little guy is down, air will come out and you can push air in. If you push it in and it pops out, then it only goes one way. You can blow it in, but it won't come out, which is really nice because if you get sick and tired of blowing and you want to take a break, you don't have to sit here or hold it with your tongue or put it up against your cheek or whatever to hold the air in. You can just stop and let it go, uh, which is pretty nice. But the good thing about this is it doesn't take very many blows to get this thing up and running. So we'll uh, show you on the video here how it, how it, easy it is to blow up. So I have the valve closed so that I can only push air in and it won't come out. And this is kind of nice that you can blow from both ends. So let's say for some reason you lost air or didn't quite inflate evenly, you can start at one side or the other. So you can see this rippling effect here. You can see the air going through the entire mattress and how it's shrinking up as he goes. So you definitely lose length in that. As you can see I'm probably getting a little lightheaded but uh, <laughs> you know my face is getting red but <laughs> but it's going quickly. I think on the product page it said 20 to 30 breaths to blow this up. I haven't been counting, but now we can see down here the pillow at the end that is forming. So, and there you go. I stopped blowing. Push on it. 
no air is coming out of this until I push that, that little nozzle in, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So you can get as much as you want. <laughs> That's about all I can do right there. So, you know, like I said, you, uh, you don't push that in, air will stay, as long as that's plugged up there. It does have this little valve cover here that just goes right on top of that. And then you got your bed. So in a couple minutes, you got a bed with a pillow and everything, and, and it's about the size of me. I'm about 5'9". So... Yeah. My head's right on the pillow, and my feet go all the way down to the bottom. So it's good for a six-foot person um, at tops. Uh, and you can inflate this, you know, as much as you want. This is as much as it'll go. And I do not feel the ground at all, which is nice. And that's kind of what you want on camping. You want to stay off the ground um, and, so that you keep warm um, and, uh, and you don't get wet and stuff like that. So the cool thing about this is it, it, it's got these ridges in here, which is about what the new uh, uh, pads are doing now. This is for airflow and to keep you dry, keep you off the ground. Um, plus it's less that you have to blow up. So it's not an entire mm -hmm. thing you have to blow up. It's just these little, these little tubes here that you have to blow up. So it's less to blow up, less on you. The nice thing is that this has a pillow, um, with it as well. Uh, it would have been nice if the pillow was a little, uh, uh, inflated on its own so that you can make that, you know, hard or soft or whatever you wanted to do for that. Uh, but it's all one piece. So as long as you're okay with that, then this is a really nice uh, camping uh, pad. It'll keep you off the ground. It's nice, sturdy, plus it's soft um, and won't, you won't touch the ground when you're laying on this, which is what you want. Um, and then it also has the three ways you can blow it up, which is also very nice. And then the waterproof bag. So all in all, this is a really nice camping pad and will uh, we'll do very well if you're, if you're hiking. And you need a pad with you. Yeah, this is really great for backpacking or any kind of camping scenario where you want to be traveling light. So as you can see, it's very, very doable to blow this up just using your mouth. And we'll let we'll have Jeff demonstrate here getting the air out while I'm mentioning these things. But um, it's very doable to blow it up by mouth without passing out or, you know, and you can easily take breaks with that nozzle at the bottom there. Um, and also for traveling light, you don't have to worry about a pillow because you've got that extra um, pillow section in this one, which is nice. So great for camping, traveling light. You're only carrying 16 ounces with this. Yep, about two passes up and down and then folding it up and this thing is flat. So mm -hmm. just like that, you can have the air out of this thing rolled up, packed, and ready to keep hiking. It's nice to have some extra so comfort like without, yeah, it's nice to have the extra comfort without having a huge hassle for setup. Very cool. Yep, so easy to put up, easy, really easy to take down, really super light, thin, and waterproof. And uh, like I said, this is a, this is a really nice pad for, for camping or for hiking. Yeah, it's a win-win. All pros with this one. All right, and that has been your closer look at this inflatable camping pad from Hollywood.